Imagine you are writing an application for a bakery that automates the process of baking different types of bread. You realize that the basic steps for baking bread are always the same. Prepare dough, bake and slice. However, the details of each step can vary depending on the type of bread. In this scenario, the template method comes into play. The template method is a behavioral design pattern that defines the skeleton of an algorithm in a base class while allowing subclasses to provide specific implementations for certain steps without changing the algorithm structure. It promotes code reuse and enforces a consistent structure for closely related algorithms. To implement this in your application, you create a base class called Bread Recipe that outlines the steps to bake bread. This class contains a method named MakeBread, which is the template method. This method outlines the steps for baking bread in a specific order. First, prepare dough, then bake, and finally, slice. We also have some additional methods to provide baking details for make bread method. In this case, these are get size, get grain type, get form, get topping, do slice. However, the bread recipe class does not provide the implementation for these details. Instead, it declares these step methods abstract meaning the subclasses will need to provide their implementation of these methods. Then, you create subclasses for each type of bread. For now, let's take wheat bread recipe and rye bread recipe. Each of these subclasses inherits from bread recipe and provides its implementation of the details. For example, the white bread recipe might include specific ingredients and baking times unique to white bread. When the user needs to bake a specific type of bread, the application creates an instance of the corresponding subclass and calls its makeBread method. This method executes the steps in the predefined order, but the actual details of each step depend on the implementation in the subclass. There are only two actors in this design pattern, abstract class and concrete class. The first one is the base class that defines the template method and outlines the algorithm structure. It may also provide default implementations for some steps. The concrete class is a subclass of abstract class that provides concrete implementations for the steps defined in the template method. One of the key benefits of this pattern is code reuse. It promotes efficiency by enabling various subclasses to share a common structure. Additionally, it offers flexibility by enabling subclasses to override specific steps or provide different ways of implementing certain behaviors. This is further supported by its ability to separate the high-level algorithm from the specific implementation details, ensuring a clear organization of concerns. However, there is also a significant drawback to using the template method pattern. Its maintenance can become very challenging. Changes to the base class impact all subclasses, so managing and updating the code without affecting multiple application areas can be tricky. That's all about the template method design pattern. See you in the next video.